In DaVinci Resolve, we can keyframe audio the same way we can keyframe video or effects. Now, one reason you might want to do this is classical ballet, which originated in Renaissance. For something like that, we might want to dip that audio down, otherwise known as ducking, whenever we have a voiceover track come on uh, underneath our music. And you also might want to use it to fade in or fade out audio. So it's really easy to do here in DaVinci Resolve. Super simple. So let's go ahead and uh, do this here. So right here on our audio clip, of course, make sure you're actually showing your waveforms. Okay, so again, middle button right here, make sure your audio waveforms are on. And then you have a few view options in here as well. If you want this to look more like Premiere Pro, just click that option right there. And by the way, we can also do this keyframing in Fairlight as well, which we'll look at uh, towards the end. And as you can tell, these tracks here are stereo tracks, as we can tell by the 2.0. But over here in the edit window, you're seeing only one waveform. If you want to see both sides of your stereo track on your audio file, you can right click and just choose display individual audio channels. And then you can see that there. But we don't need to see that for this. So let's listen to it again here. Classical ballet, which originated in Renaissance Italy and established. Yeah, so the vocal isn't coming through as much as we want it to. So to add a keyframe, super simple here, just hover over your clip gain line right there until you get your double arrow, hold down alt and then click. And then we have a keyframe right there. Now I don't want to adjust now. If I adjust now, I'm still adjusting everything, control Z. So then I'll put another keyframe right here. Okay, and by the way, we can also do this in the inspector the same way we did it in the intro to keyframing uh, video. Just make sure you have your audio clip selected and as you can see up here, we can actually put in keyframes like this as well. Just click that keyframe and you can see it right there. I can delete a keyframe by clicking on it and then just hit delete. All right. We don't need the inspector for this. It's much easier to do right here in the interface. We'll squeeze this down a bit and I still need two more keyframes. So we have one and two. Then we need one down towards the end. So I'll put one right about here. Again, just hold down alt and click and one right about there. Then I can drag my clip gain right here in the middle down and pull that audio down or duck it. So that way the voice track comes through better. All right, let's hear it. Classical ballet, which originated in Renaissance Italy and established its present form. All right, so much better. Let's hear it come out of that and fade back up. Fluid movements. So if that comes up too quickly, we can of course adjust our keyframes. So I want to pull this back here, actually. Okay, and try that. So it fades up a little, you know, more slowly. Right, graceful, fluid movements. Awesome. So that is keyframing our audio. Again, we can do that over here in Fairlight as well. As you can see, just hover over our clip gain line, hold down Alt, put in your keyframes, and do the same exact thing. It might be a little bit easier to do over here in Fairlight since we have this bigger interface. So down here, we have the video fade out, but I want the audio to fade out as well. Now we actually have a few different options here. If, for example, let me just grab my razor, I'll just cut the audio right here and then trim this back. Then we have a fade handle right here on the audio. So I can fade that out and even adjust, uh, adjust the curve of that if I want. All right, so that's option one, but if this was still a whole audio file, but right here, we just want the audio to come down and come into this uh, next clip here. All right, so same thing here. Hold on Alt, put in a keyframe there, put in a keyframe here, and we'll put in a keyframe, say there, and put in a keyframe, say over here. Drag this down to fade it down for this clip. Obviously way too much, so let me pull this keyframe out so it fades out much, much slower for us there. All right, so that is keyframing your audio here in DaVinci Resolve. Super simple to do here in the edit window or over here in Fairlight as well. Thank you.